unbelievable, really. Never seen nothing like it before in all my years. Ian Cook is not your average kind of artist. Works you won't find a paintbrush or roller in sight. That's because Ian creates all his works of art using remote controlled cars. The Birmingham based artist has spent the last 10 days in a makeshift studio in the centre of London, producing a huge portrait of racing driver Lewis Hamilton. There's no room for a uh manoeuvre on this, it's got, to, it's got to look like the person and it's not only the portrait, it's the whole figure so it's everything from the head down to the torso, down to the hands, down to the, to the legs. Ian was commissioned to do the work which measures a massive 8 by 12 metres by the sporting company Reebok. The difficult piece has been the hands really, trying to get those accurate. Um, there hasn't been any major disasters, there hasn't been any spillages or uh, you know, cars going out of control or anything. More than 2,000 people a day have been dropping into the studio in Regent Street to see how the work's progressing. When you see what he's done, he's fantastic. I mean, I, the, the likeness is incredible, so I think he's done a great job. Just a year ago, I was in a Wolverhampton shop unit, you know, creating abstract paintings using the cars, and now a year on, I'm in central London you know, with a huge amount of, of preparation and people working to make this project a success. Ian's unique style is known as auto drawings. For this portrait, he's using over 35 remote controlled cars, with Lewis Hamilton himself giving his opinion on the finished portrait. It'll be great to, to hear what he thinks to it. He will be seeing the prep work, all the videos we've been doing each day. And it's certainly a, 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 a almost surreal experience to be doing this. The picture will go on display near Tower Bridge as part of the build-up to Lewis Hamilton's attempt to become the youngest ever Formula One world champion on Sunday. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today, London.